Oh my god, where has this been all season? Whoa, I did not expect that. I thought it was going to be the other way around. But trust me, this game could have been easily 4 or 5 1. Arsenal 3, Chelsea 1. Wow, that was some performance, I have to say. That was brilliant. You couldn't have just asked for any better, couldn't you? It's a Christmas miracle. Where has it been, where has this been all season? I'm just shell shocked still that I've seen this from Arsenal right now. You know, where have these youngsters been all season? Martinelli, we've really missed him. Saka turned up. Lacazette turned up. Um, even though, you know, he worked really hard today, he worked his socks off like he always does. But today, he was winning that midfield battle. He was dropping back, working the hard yards. Emil Smith Rowe as well. Huge props to him. He was brilliant as well. Alex Lacazette opened the scoring in the 34th minute. And with the penalty, um, Kieran Tini was taken down by Reese James. Was it a penalty? Oh, a bit of a debate there. But Granite Shaka scored an absolute stunner in the 44th minute. What a goal that was. Um, Kante took down Saka and uh, Xhaka did the rest. And then Bukayo Saka in the 56th minute. Did he even mean that goal? I don't know, but it, it went in. That's what happened. And it was 3-0. Joe, Joe Willock, Pepe came on. Um, and Squadron Mustafi came on in the last few minutes. But Tammy Abraham did make it um, 3-1 in the 85th minute. Who had a glimmer of hope. But yeah, the hope wasn't long lived as it did end full time soon afterwards. But again, that was a brilliant performance from Arsenal. Brilliant. <laughs> Where has this been all season? Oh my god, seriously, it's, it's so surprising we've seen this, but that just sums up Arsenal, doesn't it? We look at the stats, 15 shots for us to their 19, 7 shots uh, seven shots on target to for us to their 3, 60% possession for them to our 40%, 482 passes for them to our 329, 84% pass accuracy to our 69%, 13 fouls for us to their 10, uh, 2 yellow cards to us to their 1, no red cards, um, even though Pablo Marie was very close on uh, if Jorginho, I think it was jo no, not Jorginho, Kovacic, I think. And uh, one offside for us to their zero. Nine corners for them to our seven. You know, people will be talking about Chelsea. Oh, they're so good at corners. Well, I couldn't see it today, could you? So yeah, brilliant performance there. And um, we are going to get straight into the player ratings as well. Um, Burnt Leno starting off in goal. Burnt Leno, wow, he was good today. Commanding his box, everything you know, we need to see from Burnt Leno week in, week out. And he did that today and he saved the penalty as well. So just for that, I'll give him a nine. Left back, Kieran Tierney. Well done, mate. There are there are numerous man of the matches in this game, but Kieran Tierney was one of them. 10 out of 10 performance. He was brilliant. We're making those overlapping runs, creating a lot of problems. And I've got no, no nothing wrong with him today. He was brilliant. Kieran Tierney, I'll give him a 10. Um, Rob Holding was the next one and again he was brilliant today against Chelsea he has some record after say the two cup finals and then this game but you know Rob Holding you know brilliant performance today and you can't fault it nine next to him Pablo Marie same thing put brilliant tackles in commanded it I put Pablo Marie in my predicted lineup David Luiz William were out uh, unwell um, and yeah brilliant performance from Pablo Marie I'll give him an eight Bellerin I think um, the fact that Pulisic didn't play down that left-hand side and Werner was playing more as an inside forward meant Bellerin didn't have many runners at him. And I think that was a huge tactical mistake from Frank Lampard because if Pulisic was running at Bellerin, I think we would have got much more success. But for Bellerin, I'll give him a seven. Granit Xhaka, whoa. Um, yeah, that was a um, decent performance and what a goal as well. That was a brilliant goal, but I think you have that with Xhaka. He pulls out an absolute stunner here and there. The one against Liverpool a few years ago, the one against Crystal Palace last season. He scores stunners sometimes, uh, Granit Xhaka, and he did another one today. That was sensational from Granit Xhaka. Brilliant performance as well. Nine. Mohamed Elneny was next to him, and I have to say, he does what he does. You know, it wasn't an amazing performance, but we commanded that midfield. We bossed that midfield. We blew all over them in that midfield who we were brilliant and Mohamed Onani was central to that doing the dirty work the Xhaka could be that more forward person um you know and help the likes of Emo Smithro give it to him do what he does bring in the energy as well bringing it to the wider players like Saka and Martinelli so yeah Onani I'll give him an eight moving into the three um attacks um Gabriel Martinelli again brilliant relentless what we needed for so long and now he's finally back from injury i want to see him starting game in game out week in week out and i'll give him a nine 
Bukayo Saka, man of the match in this game. Um, he was given man of the match. I think a lot of players could have got man of the match, but 10 out of 10 performance from Bukayo Saka. He was brilliant. And again, another stunner of a goal. Brilliant stuff from Bukayo Saka. And I couldn't fault his performance. 10. Emil Smith Rowe, again, this is what we need. You know, we have creativity in this team, but we're just not using it properly. Arteta hasn't been using it properly. And we finally used it properly today. And uh, Emil Smith Rowe, give him an 8. Uh, moving into the striker, Alexandre Lacazette, as I said, he worked very hard today. He worked the hard graft and he cannot fault his performance today. And uh, it was brilliant. He <laughs> can't say no more. And um, yeah, he got the goal, the penalty, very calm, composed. We needed that 1-0 up and then we just controlled the game afterwards, don't we? I think the only good spell Chelsea really had, you know, other than the goal they scored, which again was a one-off, you know, attack they had, but... Like between the 10th minute and like the 30th minute, 20 minutes of period, you know, they were good. Chelsea looking like they could finish us. But no, we held on and we got the 3-1 win. And again, that is it for our player ratings for this game. Um, I haven't got too much to say because it was a brilliant performance and you can't fault it. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye bye.